Jim, referencing the incident in Earthworm Jim. Mm -hmm. Yes, I just called the cow the same name. And basically, I had basically in the past stream I had forgotten where that cow actually wound up. If I'm not mistaken, he wound up in the final level. Or something like that. Final major level. I, I, I know he gave the name of the planet, but I remember the name of the level better. The name of the level was Buttville or something like that. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want. I don't know whether Earthworm Jim is just that kind of humor, or is it a reference to something about that boss, or? I I don't recall yeah. that boss, so I. Uh, unfortunately, the the extent of my Earthworm Jim knowledge extends to this not a problem level, the bungee the bungee um, contest level. I'm not sure if I want to know what the bungee cords were made of. Now, Jim's is normal. It's the enemies that's made out of. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. And this is going to be a close one, but you have all the cannonballs ready. Yep. It's a foregone conclusion, really. The only question is whether I lose the axe guy. Uh, what happens if you lose him? I, f I might get less experience. I might get less experience, but that's about it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, and Kako says don't underestimate Major Mucus's bungee cord. Okay, so, this, so the chat is working. <laughs> yeah. Also, we just got a crystal pike. At least the recipe for one. Hmm, so you're probably going to get another level if you successfully go through the battle again? Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Tried it. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, I don't have any jokes related to the chewing gum, so. Never mind. They really want you to build a trident here. Look at how many enemies are water affinity. Isn't the trident water by itself, or. That. Water is its default element, and. Okay, I have not seen this one before. This is the first time I've seen the icicle. Um, Pike. Hmm. All right, arrows, grip, and the shields, grips, guards, camp. Nothing special. I gotta yeah. remember to stop by and steal, but I wait and I'm waiting until I get both gold and crystal. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna build one trident, and I'm gonna spend all the rest of my efforts on the speedum. The thing is, I want the I want the max enhancements for at least one weapon. Hmm. Was was that cow just wearing like a you know a I don't know kind of like the jacket in Champions Online that, that I have? It's kind of like a like a bomber jacket. I don't know <laughs> as armor. Yeah. Hmm. Stick with double axe. And I've already made the music joke, so you missed that one. Again, never mind. I, I guess they're doing the the random um, visual generation just for the sake of uh, breaking up the monotony a little. Visual generation. Well, look at that pig compared to some of the others, so I'll get back to him in a minute, but... You see, the trident's a little trickier, but I think I got perfect score on that one, too. Oh. So you only do the edges, I mean, the tops, okay. You only do the part that actually hits the enemy. If I understand it right. Hmm. And yet there are spikes right, right below it, which... That's... I'm not gonna question some of these parts. Um, yes, I'm trying to bring logic into a, a game where you smith weapons for animals. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, just have to pull both of these off. I could have finished the pike. I could have clicked finish for the pike. The problem is... Um, the problem is that would have caused the axe to become overheated. Nice. 
You can see how juggling your priorities gets a little tricky in these levels. Especially yeah. with the absurdly long build times of the pike. Gold mace. This axe is going to be steel axe. Sword. Oh, that's just forging. I'll deal with the axe first. Yeah, I'm tensing up. That... This piece... Ooh. <laughs> Sword... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep building long swords until I get the max enhancement here. All these sword guys. Hey, at least they're not maces. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> yeah, the only thing worse is maces. So shields would be your favorite? Shields are. Well, bow. Well, it's tossed up between shields and bows. Because mm -hmm. bows are so different from everything else. Bows. I used to have a. I used to have a real problem figuring out the stretching of the bow. Once I figured out how to use those rivets on the on the um, smithing table as a guide, then it became exponentially easier to string the bows properly. Yeah. You were uh, golden. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pretty much. Let's check. Make sure. Oh man, that's bad. I just caught that in time. That was really close. <laughs> yes, it actually it actually turns a different color if you do it if you overdo it. That, well, I thought it kind of ruins the sword. Well, it ruins the weapon, but the meter turns a different color if you mess it up. And I've never actually—I don't think I've actually ever kept the weapon that way. I think at some point during this stream, I'm going to have to. Just to show how show what happens. Yeah, make it out of like bronze or something. Well, there's the whole luck weapons thing. If I get a lucky epic weapon, then I gladly will mess it up, to just to show how that works. Because lucky weapons, from my experience, have all been bronze or copper. Hmm, and you're gonna mess up an epic weapon? Because it still gives the, it, to my knowledge, it still gives the perfect bonus even if you mess up placement. You just make sure you crafted that weapon. That's apparently all that matters to that system. Huh, right. and you're uh, golden there. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're coming up close to the silver enhancement. A few more swords and we'll have it. And touch up that. A Cthulhu sword. Interestingly enough, there was a game that had a water sword per se. It was kind of a secret weapon, but that's about. But it was. Not only was it a secret weapon, it was the thing that basically unlocked the true ending for you. Wait a minute, are you talking about Prince of Persia? Warrior Within. Yeah, okay, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, that rung a bell. Wait, like, wait a minute, I remember. I remember something about that. Yeah, <laughs> I've only seen speed. I've only seen speed runs of that game so far. Yeah, I've only played. I've only out of the Prince of Persia's. I may have played some of the originals a little bit, but out of the Sands of Time trilogy, I have only played Two Thrones, hmm. or I, whatever I, the heck the last one was called. I actually have the uh, the Sands of Time for um, on Steam as a port, so I should show you that. Yeah. Definitely. Well, Warrior Within, as far as I can tell, 
It seems to be the most critically panned of the three. Critically hated of the three, I should say. Well, they, well, they see the prince kind of went a little uh, emo. <laughs> little emo also had a different voice actor altogether, oh, who actually comes back in Two Thrones, but as the Dark Prince. Ah, okay. Yeah. Honestly, Sands of Time really was my favorite of Prince of Persia. The others just... I don't know. Yeah. I kind of agree with Yahtzee on that regard. Mm -hmm. And again, I actually end up agreeing with him on most things. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not much I can do about the slowdown in this. It makes it a little easier. Basically, as long as I'm streaming this game, I'm going to have this bit of slowdown. Yeah, when things happen like that. Mm -hmm. I probably should have announced that sooner in the... Um... Well, you can make it low-quality, right? I'll try that after this level and see what happens. See if it actually sure affects anything. First. may want to make sure it's safe, though. Yeah. Yeah, I, I found that um, most most Flash games lag on high even, even for me. It's just, you know, the browser capabilities and all that. Yeah. This this actually doesn't... Ha this didn't have issues if I when I recorded it in A-Tube, which is what I did for getting the stream announcements in order. Ah. Well, the thing is, you're, you're using probably a heftier application just to yeah. stream instead. Mm -hmm. And you're also using your bandwidth talking on Skype. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me if that does affect you giving your computer. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that reminds me. I need to unplug my controller and plug the the um the the the, the lower fan. I need to do that like right after getting this epic weapon. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, I've got to lift the computer. And I think that was an epic shield we just got. Uh, I noticed the uh, trident tip, but I didn't notice a shield. <laughs> Basically, well, it's that, or it's either a shield or a bow. I'm guessing shield. Alright, so we've just been introduced to nature type. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it's a nature level, okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the last one. Nope, this is... There's one more after this before the boss. Oh boy, we still haven't seen dark type. I was gonna, I was gonna say, is there a dark type? Yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah, dark type is not introduced here. Yeah, it's probably gonna take another. Look time. at all those water enemies. Yeah. And like one nature thrown in as an afterthought. Hang on. All right, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, make sure it's saved. It's That's. Fine. I have to do it from here. I have to do the backup save from here. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't pop up the other window. It captures my mouse, but not the other window. That's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> You're clicking on whatever. <laughs> yes. Yep. I had a folder for this. Basically, yeah, yeah. I have a folder for these saves, interestingly enough. Just... <sighs> Once I'm done with this stream, I'm not yeah. going to be keeping those saves. Well, I keep... Well, well maybe keep... Keep one of them, but that's literally it. Well, Jack Smith seems to be a pretty long game. Yes. So. All right, let's see. Quality. Let's try low and see what happens. Yeah. If well, it's... What, is it, what was it on? It was on high. It okay. was on high. Well, okay. It's good, but it... Well, hmm. We're going to see if... Well, I want to so see if it... get high in this and then in battle make it low. All right. Let's do that then. Honestly, if you're used to the lag, it probably will make it slightly more difficult, but it's mostly automatic anyway. All you do is cannonball mm -hmm. management. <laughs> yeah. Alright, no special arrow heads. Man, this guy is a ripoff. He doesn't get me any good pieces. Mm -hmm. And uh, does he ever sell crystal? He will pretty soon. I hope so. You're going to need it. Yes. Agreed. And as much as it's silly for me to... Hang on, do I have any decent... Nope. Not the right element. I'm going with speed ems because I'm trying to upgrade something high.
All right, any water axes then? Nope. Going with this again then. Oh, wait, I already did that joke. It's too bad that I've only memorized one theme from that series instead of using the others. That uh, which? Golden Axe. Hence the entire oh, yeah. humming pun. Golden Axe. Uh. Um. Ah, sweet. Gold bow. We are using an epic weapon rather than making everything match. <laughs> Call it the lazy way if that's what you want to do. Little, little sloppy on that one. I'm basically just trying to rush so that gold doesn't overheat. As you can see, I generally... Should not have opened my mouth. <laughs> Handle 97, though, so that's not bad. And it's perfectly... And on time. Good. Actually, slightly early. So, anywhere in the green section, it doesn't matter. You don't have to get right in the middle or anything. That is correct. Okay. Just remember that the green section, um... The, the green section only really changes with, um... The type of metal you're using. Also, looks like I can get going on pointed shield. What's the difference? Or does he specify? The difference between the different types of, sh of weapons? Yeah. Uh, shields, yeah. Basically, the, they're starting the affinities. Their, their, their overall set of affinities, especially their starting one. That is literally the only difference between... Um... Oh, wait. Was I supposed to... Um... Yes. Scrap it. We gotta start that weapon over. Because I used the wrong parts. I'm surprised everything gets returned to you. Yep. All right. All right, crystal one's almost ready. I could honestly probably pull this lev pull the chain a little faster, but I don't want to risk it yet. I'm waiting until I get a I'm waiting until I get an epic weapon that uses bronze in order to test that theory. I may even risk one with iron because I've got so much of that too. Ah, yeah, crystal looks so pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even though it's bent out of shape a little. Yeah. I want to get that one out of the way and get the axe going. Yeah, I don't mind the noise, that's just knuckles. Oh boy, you still do that? Yes. <laughs> it's kind of a habit of mine. Yeah. Kind of a habit, like really big habit of mine. It's it's uh kind of a habit for me too. Mm hmm Alright. See so take that axe. Um uh, and a little more death to it. A lot more death. What it, what are these uh that handle type? I mean there's like a uh chromosome thing, there's one that looks like a bone. <laughs> They're, they, all they do is carry affinities, or some of them carry uh, straight-up damage boosts, or straight-up health boosts. 
basically they list they list the damage ones first, then the health ones, then the affinities, and then the ones that do that give both health and um, damage. I just have to remember I can't use the ones in red because I bookmark parts for the epic weapons. Also, I wonder if that joke is gonna come. That joke I made with the last axe is gonna come out in the stream, um, like in the YouTube video. Uh, what do you mean? Add a little more death. So you. It was the focus? gold. It was the gold axe. It was the golden axe. Yeah. It. Th yeah, I can make bad jokes too. <laughs> so oh. you're gonna upload the uh, the stream then? Yes. I plan basically plan okay. to do it after. Let's see. Do you still have to reannounce your uh, return? Um, I'm going to probably do that in the next couple of days. I'm just I'm going to upload the stream first, or at least get partway through and then make my presence known. Mm. Well, um, do you have your uh, character design done yet? No, that's unfortunately going to take a while longer. I'm going to have to make my I'm going to have to make my grand re-entrance without it. Mm, okay. All right. Poseidon bow. Now everyone's fully equipped to deal with the five water enemies. And let's use this paint, which is going to be a little hard to... Oh, it's not hard on this one. I, I expect to be a little closer to the paint, to, closer to the color of the... Uh... Okay, any multiple use... They gave you so much spray paint. Yeah. And that only comes off as a great, so we're going to be a little low on health. It's always hard to tell. It's always hard to get it perfect with anything that's not the fleur-de-lis. Ugh, construction 91? Yeah. Alright. Huh. Alright, yeah, this definitely goes faster. Whoa, that is insanely fast. <laughs> he just he just he just booked it right there. <laughs> yeah. This is this is more like the speed I'm used to. I wish I'd thought of this much sooner in the uh, streaming. <laughs> you could try um, medium. Maybe that'll be a nice happy medium. We're gonna do that we're gonna do that next time. Okay. We're not doing it now in the middle of combat. Yeah, this is really, really fast. <laughs> yes. Jeez. I want to get back to the pace of the original game. Like the... I don't know if this was the pace I used in the previous videos, but... Yeah. It's not uh, like you're going to be worried that much about the, the specifics. Huh? I, is it just me or do the characters even look smaller? Just just from the new area? Um... Maybe it's just... You're also dealing with larger enemies. Oh. Okay. Maybe I thought they'd bad. be. Sh I thought they'd be showing up later in the path, but apparently I was mistaken on that point. Hmm. Yeah, this is what like four times as fast. Yes, I really wish I'd figured this out sooner. I, I just never set my flash things to anything less than high unless. There's an actual toggle setting I can work with, because look at the rough edge. Yeah, I, I never pay attention to that with a flash thing. Hmm. Well, it makes the text a little bit uh, hard to read in the uh, um, sprite objects, a little hard in the eyes, but it's eh. Yeah. You mean like this? They've already um, seen what it reads, so I'm not too worried about yeah. that. Well, I can read it. It's just... I'm not that picky. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. That was kind of an easy day. Kind of was, actually. Very close, too. Alright, that was a polearm. A, I believe it was a bronze polearm. Hmm. Alright. Quality. Yeah, we're going to try medium the next time we go through this. Let's set it back to high. Is that medium or high? Well, it was medium. Now I've turned it back to high. For this. Yeah. Well, it may make some of that faster as well. Alright. Like, when he left the shop, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try medium next battle sequence. I'm also gonna leave... When I do that, I'm also gonna leave it on medium for Scout's, um, announcement. Yeah. Like, Alright, so, electric weapon. That's all I needed to see. Electric weapon. Uh, Lucky Pike. 
I'd expect to speed him out of this, but... Actually, this gives me a really good opportunity here. I just need a shopping... Uh, okay, nothing there. Alright, designs. Uh, 39, 43, 50, 43, 49, 17. Alright, also... I need to keep watch out for any sword users. Because if a sword user shows up, I'm giving him an epic weapon. Alright. Ooh, Pike. I'm going to sh do this right now. So I'm going to show you... the First off, this time, I'm going to show you what happens when you overheat it. I can use copper, but there's probably no point. No, bro no this weapon... This specific weapon requires bronze. This just okay. gives me a really good opportunity to do it. Let's see. Get distracted here. All that light bulb's burned out. Light bulb? Yeah, I turned. I was getting dark, so I turned them on and I just... It, 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 me yeah, it. Uh, I've had that happen to me. Uh -huh. All right. So, overheated a little bit. Now that's passed out of that. A little bit red, and then let's pour slowly, because I only want to show one thing at a time here. Yeah. So you're going to also pour it out, too, sometimes. All right. See, see, like, right here? There's a slight crack in it because I was just a little late. Yeah, and if it's red, then... Alright, three pikes in a row. Beat em. We're gonna make this one on a crystal, though. Let's get this one started. All right, 49. This is a super lucky weapon. I, I saw that it was a luck part. Hmm. And so I, what, what thing is um, that crack? What's that going to affect? That's what we want to find. I believe it affects... I don't actually know. I believe it affects both... Um, let's see. It's going to end up at like 70% or something. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find out. I, I didn't wait all that long, actually. No. It, it's I did not use the worst case scenario, so... Yeah, you let it go all the way around. 43... I should do that with a later weapon to see just how bad it gets. Well, it would I'm be sure it would be a little destroy. bit comedic to look at, but... It may destroy it, I don't know. I want to find out. Because, just because I'm doing this stream, I really want to find out now. <laughs> The problem is I'm doing it in levels where I absolutely need high-end stuff. Well, you can do that and then scrap it, can't you? Or once they have it, they won't get rid of it. Mm. Once I find out how bad it gets, you can't you can't undo it when you find out that. You have to undo it before then. Hmm. Yeah, it's like, oh, that that one is no good. Give me that. <laughs> um. All right. And a swordsman, which is exactly what I was looking for all this time. Uh, 17. Good. C plus 5 regardless, and a whopping 33 luck just from this thing alone. <laughs> Alright. Forging was considered 90. That's not bad. Yeah. Well, you only let it go off a little bit, but... Yeah. Uh-huh. We're gonna let one go tragically off the mark at some point, and then we're going to... Try pouring it way too fast. Uh, the same one? No, not the same one. Okay. We're going to do it with different doses because I, I won't be able to see the effect if they're all done in the same dose. Mm -hmm. Scientific method and all that. Mm -hmm. What you could do is start a new save real quick in your third slot and then just um, do it with... Yeah, maybe I'll do that at the... If, if, I, if, it, if an opportunity does not come across itself, it does not come up right away... I'll probably just, like, save it for the last... Looks like for after the main play or something. Like, do it like an experiment at the end. Mm -hmm. Alright. Little iffy on construction there. What was that, a rock? Yes. Huh. We just socketed a rock. Um, okay. D. Um. Here we go. 
Um, 